Hi guys, we all know what algebraic expressions are. Today we're going to learn about Boolean expressions. Now Boolean expressions are basically expressions or statements that result or evaluate to either a true or a false. So it's just a statement like this, 7 is greater than 3 for instance, and this results in either a true or a false. Is this true or is it false? That's all a Boolean expression is. It's just the value of 1 or 0 where of course one represents true and zero represents false. So zero and one in computers are basically always true and false in programming basically. Okay, so this statement right here, it's a Boolean expression. What does it evaluate to? It evaluates to one. Just like this statement right here, seven plus one. Okay, this is an algebraic expression and it evaluates to eight. Okay, this one right here, evaluates to 1 and that's because okay so this is how it works 7 greater than 3 true or false okay this is true so because of that it's 1 that's the answer to this okay if we were to do 4 less than um, 3 okay so 4 less than 3 is this true or false is this 0 or 1 it's zero because four is not less than three. This statement right here is wrong. It's false. Okay, so that's basically what an um, what an algebraic expression or a Boolean expression is. It's basically a statement that has two possible outcomes: a true or a false. Okay. Now these kind of expressions right here, the uh, the Boolean expressions, have many operators. You know, you have the less than, you have the greater than, you have the less or equal to, you have the greater or equal to, you have the equal to, and the equal to, notice that it's two equal signs connected together. No space in between, just two equal signs. Because if you remember, the other equal sign is, once, is when you have a variable and you set it equal to a value. So this is like assigning a value to a variable or assigning a variable to you know another expression or assigning a uh, you know a uh, I mean just assigning another expression to a variable or assigning a variable to a variable it's just for assignment okay this one single e equality sign this one however is for comparing two values any of these are for comparing two values any of those operators right here are for boolean expressions okay the other, um, the other operator is basically not equal then, uh, not equal to, which is basically also for com comparing um, variables or numbers, and is also an operator for Boolean expressions. So say we had this expression, um, 7 not equal to k, okay, and there's no space, sorry, not equal to k, okay, and we knew already that, say, k was equal to um, 2 okay so would this statement be right or wrong now of course this is not a you know part of this whole code it's just you know I'm just showing you same with these little operators here so would would this result in a 1 or a 0 well 7 is not equal to K okay that's what this is 7 is not equal to K that is, in this case, when k equals 2, that is actually true, because if we put 2 instead of k, because that's the value of it, right? 7 is not equal to 2. That is true, right? So the value is going to be 1. So this expression evaluates to become 1, right? Okay, so basically, and you can see it like on the screen if you want. You can declare a variable as a Boolean, that's how we do it. Bool is just the data type, just like integer, just like um, double or string or anything. But it only allows the uh, variable to accept two values, either a one or a zero, either a true or a false, a true or a false. So bool x, and then you tell it that x equals, see this equal is for assignment. Okay, x equals, and then you put the expression right here. Let's say 3 equals equals 3, okay? And this is basically saying 
in the variable x, which is a Boolean, which can accept either true or false, or 0 or 1, I want you to put this expression, or the value of this expression. And the value of this expression is basically, you ask yourself, 3 equals 3, true or false? If it was false, you would put 0. If it was true, you would put 1. Only two possible outcomes, right? So 3 equals 3 is true, so 1. That's why we put 1. This, the value of this is 1. And that's why 1 is stored in x. And we can then, you know, see out that on the screen, and you'll be able to see that, you know, once we want to print out x, you'll be able to see the 1 right here. And it's right here. Okay. If we were to change this to, um, say, this 3, change it to a 4, it would result in a 0. We would see a 0 on the screen. Or if you were to change that to a not equal, okay, you would also see a 0 on the screen. There you go. Not equal, and you see a 0 now. Because 3 does not equal 3, that's false. 3 is 3. Okay, because it's false, it becomes a 0. Okay, anyways, that's what I wanted to say about Boolean expressions. We'll talk some more in my next video about um, more complicated Boolean expressions. Okay, well, watch my video. Take care.